she's one of the most beautiful women in pop but following her split from Liam Payne last year, singer Cheryl had hinted that she's finally given up on love. But sitting in a room in London's Ham Yard Hotel, the 35-year-old told Mail Online that the reality of her romantic life is thankfully a little more optimistic. The mother of one said, I wouldn't say I've given up on love. I love, love. But I have paused my relationship goals. All is well. I'm just going with the flow, but I have no plans to meet anybody anytime soon. Twice divorced, Cheryl announced she had split from Liam, 25. The father of son Bear, 22 months, back in July, following a two-and-a-half-year romance. And she admits she finds the heartache of splitting up with a partner almost too much to bear because of the lows that can typically follow the highs of love. She said, I hate the lows. I hate the lows. It's kind of one of the things that makes us not want to get into a relationship. Nothing quite makes you feel like that, does it? Nothing else. And I know you have to take the highs with the lows, so I'm working on being okay with that, but at the moment, I just don't need it. I don't want it. Despite their split, Cheryl said things are all good with Liam and says they are navigating their way through parenthood well. She said, there's no animosity whatsoever. We are learning all the time. And it's good, it's healthy. We're just like any other couple that have gone through this, but we have a few more eyes watching us. Just a few. Cheryl was perfectly groomed for the interview, wearing a camel-colored polo neck with matching trousers and killer-heeled ankle boots. She said she was looking forward to getting home in order to cook something healthy, because she ate so much over Christmas, although there is no sign of this. Honestly, it was a disgrace, she said why I died. I was waking up and eating cake, just because you can. Since Cheryl made her comeback last year with her single, Love Made Me Do It. There had been speculation that she has had cosmetic surgery after pictures emerged of her face looking puffy and frozen. Do you think I look different? She asks quizzically. She doesn't. She offered, the truth was, I had one hour's sleep that night, which is never good. I stayed up because the single and video dropped at the same time and I was reading the fan reaction on Twitter. It went a bit far and all of a sudden, it was 3 a.m. I went to bed and got up one hour later. So I put on a wig, the short bob was a wig from the music video. They put my hair back in a plate and then put on the wig. I was so pale and on the way out of the door, the makeup artist was saying to me, you've got a big pillow crease in your face that I can't get rid of. No one had seen the bob, but this is how I've always looked. Cheryl said she's not interested in making safe choices when it comes to her career because that's just effing boring. She said, can you imagine if I just walked out wearing a classic pump? It would be so effing boring. I can't win. I wear stage outfits when I'm working. It's a costume. It's not like I'm going down the high street like that and even if I did, who gives a f? I'm not trying to offend anybody. Why do people care so much? Cheryl's latest project sees her as a captain on BBC show. The Greatest Dancer, alongside Strictly Zodie Matthews, 28, and Glee star Matthew Morrison, 40. She admits there's a much less competitive nature between the judges on this show, than on The X Factor, hinting to behind-the-scenes tensions at her old job. She said, I've always wanted to be involved in a dance show because I feel like it's such a huge talent that never really gets the chance to shine. It's definitely a different atmosphere here. There's not so much of a competitive nature, between the captains. There was before. On X Factor, you would get protective of your act. You had to come up with the right song, the right creative and it's all on your shoulders. On this show, we are just bringing out the best they can do. Cheryl's own return to the scene has been largely positive. Of course, she has faced criticism, but she's learned to take the rough with the smooth. She said, I've just enjoyed making the music again. I had time out and time to refresh and reset. I was ready to go again. I wouldn't say the comeback has been a breeze, but I do have a thick skin. I've been doing it for so long now. People have always had an opinion, that's nothing new. Having Bear has helped. I have a different purpose now. Before, I would work and work and work, 
and that was the main subject in my life, and now he is. But being a mum also makes you enjoy it more and appreciate it more. I feel more comfortable with it. Cheryl famously endured a 12-year feud with Lily Allen, who apologized to Cheryl back in September, admitting she was jealous of her success. The pair first began to clash back in 2006 when Lily, 33, name-dropped the singer on the B-side of her debut single, Smile. Cheryl hit back after hearing the track and when asked about the singer by chef Gordon Ramsay on the F-word, the singer called her a chick with a D. However, she said she won't be having any more public spats, because she is more mature now and has learned to bite her tongue. She continued, people say things for a reaction or a headline and I just won't give it to them. I don't care enough anymore. It's just not worth it. In the days when I used to answer back to people, I was quite naive, I was young and I had never had that level of fame before. But anything you say can stay with you throughout your career. Anything I said in the past was also an answer. I never initiated stuff. Cheryl even went as far as to say she gets where Lily is coming from when she refers to being lost and lonely. She said, I understand it. It was different for me because for the first seven years of fame, I was surrounded by four other girls, so we were never lonely. We had each other always, whether it was getting room service or going to the club with our dancers. When I did my solo career, I still had them. They would come down to the shows, if I travel, Lily, England, or family members come with me. But I understand it. There have been times where you come off stage, you are rushing to get out past the traffic. You get into the hotel room. Your eyes are still ringing from being on stage and it's deadly silent and it's just you in your dressing gown. You're on a high still, so your body is full of adrenaline. I know a lot of people who suffer with that in the public eye. Despite struggling with the pressures of fame at times, Cheryl said she has no regrets over choosing a life so public. She said, when you're an artist, you're like, look at me, don't look at me. I want to sing and dance for you, but you don't have to watch me when I'm in my house. I love what I do but it is hard to get the balance between a public and private life. I've tried for years now. I do all my shopping online. I go for low-key outings with my child or I go to restaurants via the back entrances. Adele has done a good job of that. And on the rare occasion I do get spotted, it is what it is. It's no big deal. Speaking of which, Cheryl admitted that one of the most awkward things about being famous is doing things like getting an intimate grooming session. She said, you are thinking, what are they thinking? You think they are going to text their friend. I don't wax anymore, by the way. I do laser. I have been going to the same family of women for things like that for the last 10 years and I trust them. I am human like anyone else. I've got the same as you girls, 